Okay, when we turn now to Sinead Fairley and Mana Shim, they are joining us exclusively. And with them for support is Alex Morgan, the former captain of the U.S. women's national team who now plays for the Orlando Pride. Good morning to all of you. Mana, I just keep thinking about you. One week ago today was the day before this big story came out, before you came out publicly and told this story. You had no idea what would happen. And now as we sit here, Paul Riley has been fired. He's been suspended from coaching. The commissioner of the soccer league is out. How do you feel in this moment? I'm feeling so many emotions. First of all, I'm so just overcome with gratitude at everyone who spoke it out and supported us. Um, I feel very deeply sad and heartbroken about what happened. And it's bringing up a lot of feelings that, you know, I was sitting with for years, but they were dormant. And yeah, so it's a mixture of things. I, I want more. I want more justice. I want better policies. I want players to be protected. And at the same time, I feel like we're on the right path. And I'm grateful for everyone who's reached out and supported us. I want to bring Sinead into this conversation. Sinead, you sat with this secret for years and years and have just come forward to tell these stories. How are you feeling in, in this moment? Yeah, um, I would say similarly to Mana, it is the whole spectrum of emotions, um, completely overwhelmed. Um, the, the support and the validation of this story by everyone globally has just been, it has blown me away and really has felt like it has given my pain purpose. And that has been a liberation for me that I have not been able to feel for almost 10 years. Um, and these women too, Mana and Alex, and a couple of other women we worked with, and every person that has reached out and shown support has turned this moment into a movement and made this matter. And I just, I feel speechless about it. I don't have words, just pure gratitude. and. They have truly amplified our voices and just made this what it should be, which is a huge deal and demanding change. And um, yeah, I feel really grateful and also very overwhelmed. Yeah. And again, just it's a lot, you know. It is a lot. You know, I should mention Paul Riley had, did not respond to our request for comment. He has denied any physical or sexual contact with any player. You know, a lot of people aren't familiar with your story, what would you want them to know about the Paul Riley that, that you encountered and had to deal with? He's a predator. He sexually harassed me. He sexually coerced me, And he took away our careers. Yeah. Sh Sinead, how would you yeah. answer that question? What do you want people to know about what happened to you? I think it's just really important and why we wanted to share our story and share in so much detail um, the damage that was done um, to our careers, but who we are as people, um, the damage to my self-confidence and how I saw myself, how I approached life, it, it seeps into every part of your livelihood and um, there is a lot of loss that comes with that and things I will not get back. And um, I think when we can tap into the emotional impact of just showing up to try and be your authentic self, it really can hit home for a lot of people because um, it's bigger than the sport. This is about safety in our own lives and our bodies and the players deserve that. We all deserve that. Um, that brings me and to And that's Alex. something that we will fight for. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, yeah, and I, I just want to bring Alex into this conversation, and that's the perfect way to get to it, Sinead, because, you know, here's a situation where Mana complained in 2015. You were there. You helped her do that. You were a leader on the team as well. His contract was not renewed with the team in Portland, but then five months later, he was hired by another team. How does that strike you? What does that say about the league's practices in your view? I mean, first and foremost, I'm here today to support Mon and Sinead and continue to amplify their voices and just show the systemic failure um, from the league and um, how wrong they did in handling Mon's uh, case and complaint and the investigation 
and um, where they failed modern Sinead and um, probably many other women. Um, so, you know, I, I think when I look back, I tried to be as good of a friend and teammate as possible to Mana in helping her file a complaint when there at the time was no anti-harassment policy in place. There was no league HR. There was no anonymous hotline. There was no way to report. Um, we have now started to put these things in place um, by demand of players, not by being not by the league being proactive. So th something we ask is for the league to start being proactive, not reactive. We ask for transparency. Mana, what was the dynamic then? Did it feel like a culture of silence? Absolutely. And, and explain why. From early on, there was a possession, not just from Paul, but the team that I was playing for. They silenced me about multiple issues, my sexuality um, being the most important one. And... Yeah, I just was very, very uncomfortable the whole time. And every day I showed up to work, every day I practiced, every game I played, I didn't have confidence and I was scared. I was scared and the only thing that got me through was my teammates. And Alex and Sinead, they're two of my best friends and thank God I had them. I just, I don't know what I would do without them. Alex was the first person I told who said, I will do anything to support you. And she was loyal from day one, and that's really the only way I got through it. And I'm still damaged. You know, this isn't something that just goes away overnight because we talk about it. It's extremely vulnerable and detailed, what we've gotten into this week. And it brings up a lot, like I said earlier. But I'm, I'm just so grateful for this opportunity to get these bad people out of the league and really shine a light on on this issue because it's so prevalent. It's not just this team, it's not just this coach, it's across the league, it's across the sport and we have to do something about it. I'll have to leave it there. Mana, Sinead, thank you, Alex. Thank you, thank you for your bravery and coming forward and spending some time with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll send it back to you guys. Right. Brave women right yes. there. Yes, indeed. Uh, Savannah, thank you. Thank you, ladies. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.